Just a few words on the initiatives um, organized by Finance Malta over the course of uh, last year and the initiatives we have in plan for this year. Um, clearly, we can summarize the communication platforms um, over four core areas. Uh, Finance Malta organizes its events, such as this conference, but uh, predominantly events organized outside our shores. We leverage significantly technology. Uh, we have a very strong information portal with downloadable documents, um, and particularly we've just leveraged social media, on which I'll comment in a few minutes. We have teamed up uh, with uh, other promotional bodies, uh, particularly Malt Enterprise and Malt Tourism Authority. We have organized a number of events and participate in each other's events outside our shores. We do have complementary positioning. There are non-financial institutions that set up an operation here, and then they decide, for example, to set up treasury operations in Malta. So clearly there is a conduit of business that can be derived out of the non-financial sector. And lastly, media and PR, which is critically important, particularly uh, given the physiognomy of the, uh, of the island in that we need to leverage technology as much as possible. Last year, we've organized no less than 30 national and international events. Our core focus has remained the European marketplace, but we are trying to spread our wings as well to other regions. We've done events in Africa uh, because we believe that Malta is a natural gateway for uh, business in, in Africa, particularly in South Africa, to tap the Euro European market, Asia, um, both in Hong Kong and China, the US, we started touching New York, because we really um, are aiming to try to attract US managers to set up business here in Malta, but for sure in Europe we have focused uh, our initiatives in a number of countries, organizing events which span the sectors that we focus on, be it insurance, uh, funds, banks and trusts. Technology is increasingly important in this day and age, and the investment we've made in the information portal that we have in introducing search engine optimization is yielding results. Uh, if you look to your left, you'll see that we're increasingly getting um, significantly strong hits on our website uh, by way of the promotion of our, our website through various initiatives such as banner advertising and emailings that we send out to our strong 7,000 database. What's interesting is the pie chart, for sure, because it shows that 60% of the hits are from new, from new visitors. And you can see that the sources um, that, uh, through which these hits are being registered are varied. And here again, I encourage you to uh, you know, have your link uh, to the Finance Malta website because you know, your clients uh, might wish to know more about the industry, and I think uh, the website itself is an interesting source of information about what's happening in the industry. The website visitors and analysis is uh, interesting. It's very diversified. Obviously, the Maltese, uh, particularly our members, use the website a lot to derive information and download documents. But clearly, we have visitors from various European and non-EU countries who are seeking information from our site. Email communications. Uh, we're using the quarterly newsletter insight to communicate uh, various uh, information about the uh, various themes being discussed currently in Europe. Um, spanning the various regulations that we are currently facing, and this is circulated to our, strong, to our strong database. But likewise, we send periodic email notifications highlighting not only developments related to financial services, but also quality of life matters, because that is equally, equally important. On the media side, we organized quite a number of promotional initiatives. We've teamed up with Malt Enterprise and the MTA to invite journalists to Malta, organizing meetings for them with local practitioners and operators. Um, we've introduced quick response codes on all our material, because that facilitates the accessibility of information to our website. And likewise, and I think this is a very important aspect of our promotional strategy, is that we've sponsored uh, quite a number of uh, key publications which are sector-focused. So we've done um, sponsorships for publications on the fund side, on the insurance side, and even in targeting gatekeepers, you know, the likes of lawyers and auditors who are clearly gatekeepers of business to the island. Going forward this year, we've organized a number of initiatives already. We're in the fifth month of our uh, promotional uh, plan for this year. Um, clearly, I think there were uh, two core events, initiatives that we've brought to fruition this year. The first one is the introduction of investor guides. Um, the investor guides have been found as a, an excellent source of information 
Um, you will find these at the registration desk, but clearly you will find these as downloadable documents from our website, which you can then circulate to your clients. They provide excellent information about the industry, about setting up operations in Malta, and clearly it is a useful document for those operators that are considering to set up their operation in Malta. The business and investment guide, um, this, in, this guide is, is more generic in nature. Uh, we have printed the 2012-13 guide um, just uh, this month, but this is a guide which we've been producing for the last few years. And the natural extension of our information portal, which is clearly social media. This is a project which the management team has been working on over these last um, few months. We've launched it in March, and to date I can assure you we've had some compelling results. Um, Facebook um, reach has exceeded the one million mark. You know, please use our site on Facebook, um, use the social media, because obviously we will have a wider reach using you as ambassadors for this site. We have some work in progress, apart from the various initiatives that we have planned for, uh, for this year. We will be optimizing our uh, website for, for mobile use. And particularly an interesting um, project we have in mind to initiate in the third quarter of this year are the technical podcasts. I think in these last four to five years, we've focused a lot on showcasing the industry and on creating and on uh, organizing initiatives which are sector specific. Now it's time to highlight the skills depth that the Maltese practitioners and operators have. And we will be organizing a series of technical podcasts focusing on the key themes that are being actively discussed in the industry, in the industry today. Of course, we'll be um, keeping you updated with developments. Just to bring my session to conclusion, clearly the financial sector is in growth mode. And it is in growth mode across all the core sectors with particular emphasis on insurance and, uh, and the funds industry. Nonetheless, I think um, it is important always to take a step back and critically analyze those factors that have contributed to the success of the industry. And there are quite a number of them. Um, some of them are factors which have put us on a level playing field with other European jurisdictions, others which I firmly believe are unique to Malta. And it is important that you know, we remain focused on these core factors and we improve these core factors through innovation. And I welcome um, the announcement by the Minister to set up a think tank to review these core factors and ensure that we, these core factors, can sustain the growth of the industry, of the industry going forward. We can only do that if we keep at the center of all our initiatives Malta's value proposition. And there are some factors which are critically important. Our responsiveness, and when I say our responsiveness, across all stakeholders, from the practitioners to operators to the regulator to government, it is important that the fact that we are small and makes us nimble is used to our, to our advantage and leveraged to our advantage as a competitive advantage. Cost competitiveness is equally important. This, of course, can be eroded if we have erratic wage inflation. So clearly, emphasis has to be continued on the availability of skilled resources and the introduction of training programs to have a fit within the growth we're experiencing in the various sectors of our industry. Our legal and regulatory framework, I think kudos to the regulator. They have kept our legal and regulatory framework updated with developments in a timely manner. And I think it's important that we maintain this despite the challenge of a raft of regulations coming our way, as you all are aware of. The accessibility to the, to the regulator has been a factor which is cited in most of the meetings I've had uh, with operators coming to Malta. And I think this accessibility, this business mindset is important to be retained because I think it is pivotal for the industry. And lastly, the intellectual capability on which I highlighted earlier, it is important that we remain focused on ensuring that the human resources that we are, um, that are attending the University of Malta have the necessary skill sets that have a perfect fit with those sectors that are growing, because this will make the industry, the, 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 the life of employers much more, much more easily. So it is important to manage um, these factors, and likewise it is important to manage challenge, challenges in a, tiny, a timely manner. Ownership is definitely key, so I think this think tank will literally have a fit uh, with our focus in this regard. 
Just a few words of acknowledgments for sure. Um, last year was a, a challenging year for the markets, a challenging year for Finance Malta, given the raft of initiatives. But nonetheless, acknowledgments are due to definitely the government of Malta, particularly um, the minister, who is always supportive and always makes time um, for either operators coming to Malta or initiatives that we organize from time to time. Undoubtedly, the, uh, the management team at Finance Malta, they work assiduously uh, to ensure that there is excellent standard in all the initiatives that we organize. And I'm pleased to say that they do this with a degree of devotion. The authority, always available to assist us on technical matters. They have been invaluable as well in, on, the, on, this, on the investor guides. Malta Enterprise and Malta Tourism Authority, they are, um, we've organized a number of events with them, for sure. And they are really supportive and they give us space, you know, in events that they organize from time to time. And lastly, you, our members, thank you for the support uh, that is given to us in different shapes and forms. Um, your availability to speak at conferences, your financial support in sponsoring certain events. You know, if this was not available, then all this would not be possible to organize. Well, that brings me to the end of my session. I uh, augur that you have an enjoyable conference, a thoughtful one, and why not a thought-provoking one. Thank you very much.